Uh, Ch uh, Chris Chamberlain says, uh, what do you listen to now that you're not on air? Do you listen to any radio now? No. Um, <laughs> actually, I, uh, I don't even own a car now that I'm not on radio. Because, Neither do I. Well, I once, I, once I didn't have to wake up at 3 a.m. anymore and public transportation took care of everything, I live in the city, so got rid of the car since so I don't need to check on any radio. Honestly, I just, I've always just been in a music. I've always just been a music guy, you know? Yeah. So if you'd like to know, I've been listening to a lot of Prince lately. Erotic City was my jam last night. Okay, yeah. okay. Is that, that's the last song you listened to? Last song I listened to. I actually want to say I listened to it like four times this morning. Just to get in the mood for this interview. I, um, actually listened to a song by the girl group Heim. Yeah, dude. Heim's night. awesome. I had never heard of them, but I'm checking them out. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really commute anymore either. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm on public transportation, so, and I don't podcast anything. Um, I watch Morning Joe a lot because I'm living with my two gay uncles, and they are obsessed with... The Gunkles. The Gunkles are obsessed with Morning Joe, so I'm watching, and I know nothing Who would about it be? Pop. That man's fucking dreamy. Joe Scarborough? Yeah, dude. Oh, God. That's why. I like Joe and Mika, but... I don't. I, I'm over my old man fetish. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you know. Maybe this, I'm just getting into it. Maybe that's a late twenties thing. Moved on. Um, well, speaking of old man fetishes, Laura Harrison wants to know, Sarah, whatever happened to Ed? She was a big fan of Ed's, Aww. and she wants to know what is our current dating situations. I, I guess maybe I don't know. Well, I'm already answered mine. Here's my dating together? situation right here, <laughs> and I'm in love. <laughs> Well, you got to clean up that boil on your butt. Um, <laughs> you, know, you know, I mean, are you worried if someone sees you naked? Like, what are they going to do? I'm so hairy down there. You can't see shit. <laughs> you can't see anything. They're going to give a reach around to your boil. Yeah, like, ooh, that feels great. It's my third nipple is what I tell them. <laughs> How gross is that? Well, I do have an update, Laura Harrison, on Ed. Ed ended up moving to Florida, and he did get remarried. Woohoo! And um, Ed and I did not stay in contact, so I do have to say, um, I have not spoken to Ed for a couple years. We actually broke up almost four years ago. Which makes sense. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a tough breakup. That was an emotional. And I think, again, there's no big mystery story there, except for, I think, in life. It, you know, Ed and I, Ed was 14 years older than I was. And I think he was really at a place where he wanted to get married and, and he would have another kid. And I just, you know, in my heart of hearts, that was not what I wanted. And I think... I'm, you just wanted to slay. <laughs> she just wanted to slay. <laughs> just, you know, I've realized that I have a lot of slaying to do. A lot of slaying to do. And I need to slay on. And um, so it just, you know, and I think too what I've learned, and I always say this, is uh, I dated quite a few older men in my Ooh. dating career. Uh, Sammy has met several of them. Um, but over the years, I think I learned that I don't want to date somebody older. Uh, 10 years is my limit now. Just because I think at the end of the day, older guys, um, they want, they're at a different place. They want something different. And for me, that was just not what I wanted. Like I wanted a partner who was more active and wanted to do stuff. And, you know, golfing on Saturdays is not really what I want to do. Matlock sucks. Metamucil is <laughs> expensive. <laughs> So, there's a lot of it. Viagra's a bitch. Uh -huh. <laughs> it takes 30 minutes. By the time that 30 minutes kicks in, I'm already asleep. That's what yeah. Sarah said, at least. I got tired of sucking. Okay. <laughs> okay. But, and my current dating situation is, oh, this is, it is great news. I am dating a really great guy who lives in Northern Virginia. Mm -hmm. He is my own age. I'm 31. He's 34. Um, I always would give advice, like, don't do a long distance relationship unless you have a game plan. And I always swore I would not be in a long distance relationship and I am actually at this current time. So he lives in Virginia and I'm in New York and we're figuring that out. And so we've been dating a little less than a year. So it's going really well. I'm, I'm really excited to be with somebody that's fun and likes to do a lot of things. Now are we talking six, eight, 10 or 12 here? <laughs> okay, or are we moving on? All right, it looks like we're moving on. Okay. We are. Not going there. <laughs> um, oh, but Jeff S. did want to know, um, hey, Sarah, would you be Sammy's fluffer if he were a porn star? Well, yes, yeah, she would. <laughs> the thing is... I tip. And that's supposed to be a pun, just so you can get that. <laughs> yeah. Not oh, without good. boil on your ass. I, you but that's why you got, I guess yeah, you'd have to be my fluffer, so... Okay. Yeah, I would I you, remove the boil. I would fluff you and exfoliate okay. you at the same time. It's almost like this, because it's like frontal, and then I could exfoliate. Yeah, 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 I could run around the back a little bit. <laughs> I would bleach. Yeah, I'd be down. I would bleach for you, so. <laughs> I don't know if we get into that part, but I'd definitely do it just for fun.